Have you ever wondered what you would do if you encountered a wild animal in its natural habitat? Picture this, you're on an adventure trip, hiking through untamed wilderness or camping under a starlit sky. Suddenly, you find yourself face to face with a wild beast. The thrill of adventure could quickly turn into a fight for survival. Being prepared for such encounters isn't just smart, it's essential. So buckle up adventurers, because this video will reveal eight crucial tips to survive wild animal attacks. The first tip is understanding animal behavior. Now this is not about becoming a biologist overnight, but rather about grasping the basics of how animals act in the wild. Whether it's a bear, a snake, or even a kangaroo, every creature has its own set of behaviors that can give us clues about its intentions. Often, animals will display warning signals before they attack. For instance, a rattlesnake will shake its tail, a bear might stand on its hind legs, and a moose will lay back its ears and raise the hair on its neck. These signs are nature's way of saying, hey, back off. Recognizing these signs and understanding what they mean can help you avoid potentially dangerous encounters. It's all about respect, respect for the wilderness, respect for the creatures who inhabit it, and respect for the unwritten rules that govern our interactions with them. So arm yourself with knowledge and keep your eyes open. Remember, knowledge is your first line of defense. Next is making yourself appear bigger. Enlarging your physical profile can be an effective way to intimidate many animals and potentially deter an attack. But how do we do this? It's all about utilizing what you have on hand. If you're wearing a jacket or a backpack, use them to your advantage. Hold your jacket open or hold your backpack over your head. This makes you seem larger and more imposing to the animal. If you're in a group, stand close together to create a single larger entity. The key is to avoid sudden movements. Instead, make slow and deliberate movements that increase your size gradually. This can make you appear less like prey and more like a threat. Remember, the goal isn't to provoke the animal but to dissuade it from seeing you as an easy target. Remember, most wild animals prefer to avoid conflict if they can. Showing dominance can often deter an attack. Our third tip is, don't underestimate the power of noise. You see, in the wilderness, noise can be your best friend. The simple act of making loud, unexpected sounds can startle and deter many wild animals. Think about it. In the wild, silence is golden. It's the language of predators, the cloak of the hunter. So, a sudden loud noise. That's like a blaring siren in the serene silence, enough to send most creatures scampering away. Now you might be wondering, what's the best way to make this noise? Well, clapping your hands, shouting, banging pots and pans, or even using a whistle can do the trick. The key is to make it sudden and loud. But remember, this isn't a foolproof method for every animal. Some might see it as a challenge, so always stay alert. Sometimes a loud noise is all you need to stay safe. Fourth, avoid direct eye contact. Now this might seem counterintuitive, especially when you're trying to keep an eye on a potential threat. But here's the thing, many animals, especially wild ones, perceive direct eye contact as a threat or a challenge. It's a primal thing ingrained in their instincts. It's their version of a staring contest. And trust me, you don't want to win that game. So, how do you avoid eye contact while still keeping tabs on the animal? It's a fine line to walk, but it's about being aware without being confrontational. Use your peripheral vision. This way you can still see the animal and monitor its movements, but you're not locking eyes and escalating the situation. Think of it like trying to read a book in a moving car. You're aware of the scenery passing by, but you're not focusing on it. Remember, avoiding eye contact can prevent an animal from feeling threatened. Tip number five, always back away slowly. It's a critical survival strategy when you're faced with a wild animal. You see, many animals have a natural instinct to chase, especially if they feel threatened. Suddenly turning your back and running can trigger this instinct, turning a potentially safe encounter into a dangerous pursuit. But how do you back away without provoking an attack? Well, it's a delicate balance. First, maintain a non-threatening posture. Avoid direct eye contact, as we've mentioned before, but keep the animal in your peripheral vision. Then, take small, measured steps backward. No sudden moves, no turning your back. Consider it a slow dance with nature, where you're leading the dance floor in reverse. You're not just stepping back, you're communicating, I'm not a threat. And here's a golden rule to remember, never corner an animal or block its escape route. 
This could escalate the situation drastically. Remember, sudden movements can trigger an attack. Next up, use your surroundings to your advantage. You've likely heard the saying, know your battlefield. This couldn't be more crucial than during a wild animal encounter. A quick survey of your surrounding environment can turn the odds in your favor. For instance, putting a large object such as a rock or a tree between you and the animal can act as a barrier, buying you precious time. If you're near a body of water, consider using it to distance yourself from a land-dwelling predator. But what if you're cornered with no escape route? In such situations, your surroundings can also become a weapon. A sturdy branch or a sharp stone can serve as a makeshift tool for self-defense. However, remember the aim is not to harm the animal, but to deter it and create an opportunity for escape. Being aware of your surroundings can save your life. Our final tip, know when to fight back. It's a rare occasion when the best course of action is to fight back against a wild animal. These situations usually arise when an animal perceives you as a threat to its young or its territory and decides to attack. In these dire situations, you must remember, your goal isn't to win, but to convince the animal that you're more trouble than you're worth. Use whatever you have at your disposal, a stick, a rock, your backpack, anything that can create a barrier or potentially hurt the animal. Aim for the animal's sensitive areas like the eyes or nose. But remember, this is a last resort. Attempting to fight should only be considered when all other tactics have failed and you're certain the animal intends to harm you. In the wild, knowledge is power. Understanding an animal's behavior, making yourself seem larger, using noise, avoiding eye contact, retreating slowly, utilizing your surroundings, and knowing when to fight back can save your life. Sometimes standing your ground is the only option. To wrap up, surviving a wild animal encounter depends on understanding animal behavior, making yourself appear larger, making noise, avoiding eye contact, backing away slowly, using your surroundings, and knowing when to fight back. These tips are not just about survival, but about coexistence. They help maintain a respectful distance between us and the wild. Remember, our adventures should never harm the natural world. Being prepared can make all the difference. Stay safe out there, adventurers.